also known as Emily. Today, I have part two. Not one, one, not one, two, part two of my massive perfume collection. So, I have seven more perfumes to share. I am a bit of a talker, which is why I'm doing seven. Otherwise, I would show you like the whole thing. just get going. First, first perfume. This one. Um, you might be able to see like this nail looks like orange. It's because foundation. I just washed my hands because um, I did my makeup, but I still have foundation on my hands. Okay, this these like thin glass bottles sound. This perfume. Also I should mention that I'm at, um, filming from a different angle so you might hear some like creaking. That's the floor. Um, yeah I'm trying to make this as like quiet as possible. But... Okay but this is Lancome's Idol Aura. Sister calls it the paper perfume because it's so thin, like a sheet of paper. But this, I love the juice. I just think it looks like delicious, like edible, I guess. Edible. Really good. It looks really delicious, but uh, the scent is really lovely. It's really great for the spring and summer months. Um, This is kind of like the aura of the perfume. It kind of looks like, uh, like the soul of the perfume. That's how I would like think it's like the light that's coming from it. So that's how you can tell the difference between the two because sometimes it is hard to tell with flankers. But um, I really like this one. Um, it's very, it's very fresh crisp. There's something about this that is also a bit like salty and coconutty at the same time. Um, I don't even think there's coconut in here, but something in here smells coconutty like ever so slightly. I feel like I'm not very into like beachy scents, but this is one that I enjoy. It's not super beachy. super beachy but a little bit coconutty definitely fresh a little beachy a little bit like a salty um like vanilla scent in here i would say there's something that's yeah like a, a salty ever so slight salty vanilla it's not a sweet perfume my sister says it's sweet but she has completely different perfume taste than i do but it's, yeah, not very salty, not very sweet. It's like crisp. It's like crisp, salty air without being too salty. You get a hint of coconut, a hint of like vanilla, a hint of uh, sweetness, but it's a really good perfume. And I like that it's so easy to travel with. This is just a like little one ounce bottle, but like I could literally put this in my pocket right now. It's big enough for my pocket. So. Okay, this perfume. I love the way this sounds. Also hear sirens. It's like everything that could happen during this video is happening. Um, okay.
this is Valentino's Donna. This is the original Donna. They've since come out with like a bunch of flankers. They have the whole Born in Roma line is new. Um, they came out with like Born in Roma Intense, Born in Roma Yellow Dream, Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Um, this is the OG Donna, which I don't even know if they sell this anymore, honestly. Um, I think they also reformulated this, and I say that because I smelled this in high school. And the liquid, it was like a gold bottle, but the liquid was like a darker pink. I've heard some people on Fragrantica say that it was reformulated in 2018. So, I might have smelled the original one, which was released, I think, 2015. But anyways, this is such a beautiful scent, and I don't wear it often, as you can clearly tell. But I really should. I'll spray some now. It smells very, oh, it smells very lovely. When I do wear this, I get a lot of compliments. I also don't know how to describe this. I feel like if you like Miss Dior, like Coco Mademoiselle, Chanel Chance, um, maybe Flower Bomb, you would really, really like this. Um, this is sweet, but not sickening. <laughs> It's sweet but not sickening in my opinion. It has a peach note, which I don't normally like peach in perfumes. I don't normally like peach in perfumes, but this I like for some reason. I feel like the peach is noticeable, but again, it's kind of, maybe it's because it's like more perfumey. It doesn't smell too artificial in my opinion. Um. And then there's also some kind of powdery floral note, I believe. Iris or violet. I know a lot of people in like the perfume community have said that this kind of reminds them of like lipstick. Like the powdery scent of vintage lipstick. And I can see that. I feel like that's a turn off for me, but I can, I can see it. This definitely has a powdery undertone. But this kind of reminds me of MAC lipsticks. The powderiness in here is like the powderiness in a MAC lipstick or like a Maybelline lipstick. Maybelline lipsticks smell really good. Like that's what this is. That's the same kind of, it's like a powdery vanilla scent um, that is reminiscent of like vintage lipstick or just like lipstick in general. So I really love this. I could just like go like this all day. I think it sounds really great. It's such a lovely perfume. It's quite lovely. I don't even remember how I filmed my other perfume video. Like, what was I doing? Was I just talking? Was I tapping? I don't know. Okay. All right. This one is like so beautiful. Do you see this? It's so pretty. This has a very, 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 I don't know why I'm spelling very, very, like, hefty lid, but do you see that? Ooh. Isn't that so pretty? This is M. McCullough. M. McAuliffe, Elang in gold, has this like rhinestone print. This is like unreal, this perfume. This is like one of my signature scents. Again, I have a bajillion, but um, this is a niche perfume brand, so their fragrances are very expensive. I get so many compliments on this perfume as well. 
it's the best scent. I don't know how to describe this. There's a bajillion notes, but it kind of reminds me of Anna Mori's Butterfly. But more floral because this one does have a much more prominent floral note with Elang in it. There's definitely like you spray it and you can smell those that floral Elang, which in Anna Mori's Butterfly you don't smell. Um, but I love this. It's such a beautiful perfume. And it has a kind of like tropical vibe to it as well. It has that same like banana cream, coconutty kind of scent that Hannah Mori's Butterfly does. And I feel like banana turns me off in perfume. I would be like, that's gross, but this smells so good. And it smells not gourm like not super gourmand. Tropical gourmand, but in like a good way. I don't know how to describe it. like a coconutty banana cream but in like a tropical not super sugary like headache inducing sweet scent and then you do have like the elang that pops out at top at the top no you know too so um when you spray this as well because it kind of looks like a body oil it's a perfume, um, but when you spray it, there's no trace of any kind of shimmery liquid on you. It doesn't give you any kind of, like, shimmery tint, which is nice because I'm not into body shimmers or whatnot. So. Today, I was wearing another one from M. Mikhalev. This is what it is, the liquid. I literally got this last winter, winter 2021. 20, if, wait, right? This past winter was winter, wait. Wait, yeah, this past winter 2020, so last winter. Um, and it was originally like a, beige color, um, and the liquid has gotten dark, um, some perfumes, depending on the ingredients, will get darker, but the scent has not changed, it's such a beautiful perfume, this is like literally one of my favorite perfumes, I am Mikalev, like, Something about this brand, like, this bitch knows how to do fragrances. The bottle looks very, um, kind of like vintage. I didn't even say what this is. So this is, um, did I say what the other one was? The other one was Elang and Gold. This one is Watch. At one point it said Watch over here, but it was like that, I don't know, the logo or whatever. Not the logo, the name of the perfume. I guess, despite it being a very huge, like, expensive brand, was not the best quality, and it rubbed off, but this perfume I love. I think this might be discontinued as well. I don't know. And it's unfortunate because it's such a beautiful perfume. This is, like, a perfume you need, like, one spray, and that's it. Kind of like in my other video with um, Toga's Florence. This is floral, but this is, like, classified, or at least people say it's, like, a bubblegummy tuberose, and I feel like people, why am I not top tapping on it? I can't make up my mind. Um, I feel like people would either love that or hate that. For me, I love tuberose, and there are certain perfumes that I've smelled that are, like, bubble gummy that I like.
So a bubblegum YouTube rose sounds amazing to me and it really is in my opinion. I really love this. It's floral. There's something about it that smells slightly vintage but not like Chanel number no. 5. It definitely has a sweetness to it as well. I don't know if there's two bros because the other two bros perfumes that I've smelled I feel like this tube rose is a little bit different. But there is something like sweet and bubblegummy about this in a floral way. Which I really like. As a <clears throat> gold lid. With the little gel. I love this so much. Okay, next I have three perfumes. From Jean-Paul Gaultier. And um, they're all from the Scandal line. So I have the original Scandal. These are much more of like wintry scents. This is just a little baby, like, one ounce bottle, so it has the little charm on it, the little leg charm. Um, this smells so good, though. I love this. And I get so many compliments when I wear this as well. This is described as a, like, honey, um, very, like, powerful honey perfume. And there's definitely honey in here. I used to watch so many perfume videos in the past, and I don't really do that anymore, but I know a lot of people would say that this was, like, a very intense perfume. Um, and, like, it's definitely strong, but it's not, like, as crazy as I feel like everybody, like, made it up to be. Um, but this is the original Scandal, so this has the honey. Honey. This is like a little one ounce bottle, so it's also pretty travel friendly. Okay, and then I have um, a flanker for that, which is Scandal by Night. So this is what like the big bottles look like. Um, I think the 1.7 ounce bottles also look like this with like the legs. This, I think, is discontinued, unfortunately. It's such a beautiful perfume. And it is such a shame that it's discontinued. So it kind of has like a magnetic top. Um, yeah, Scandal by Night. It's so beautiful. So instead, instead of having, um, these both have honey in them, but instead of having orange like the original, this one has cherry. And instead of having orange blossom like the original, this one has tube rose, which we all know I'm into. Um, so, this one's like a very dense bottle. I feel like it, you can't tap on it very well, but scandal. Oops, excuse me. so good this one and the original for me are tied in like first place for my favorites of the line that I've tried so far um, okay so then I have 
this one. This one's more summery. I feel like you couldn't tell by like the liquid, but it's still like you could still wear it in the cooler months. This is called Scandal A Perry. So it's an Uda toilette as well. The other ones are EDPs. This one kind of reminds me actually of YSL's Mom Perry. And I really love that perfume. My sister wears it. I try to like not wear perfumes that my sisters wear, but um yeah. I do really like it. So this one, again, it's a flanker, so it still has some similarities, but it's a bit different, so. I will say though, this is an Oud Toilette, but it's just as strong as the EDPs. Um, and this one has honey, um, pear, and jasmine. So that's how this one like kind of differs. And these are all JPG Jean Paul. The sprayers of these bottles is so nice too. Um, so yeah, they have quite a few others that were, were released. I have not tried them. Um, I believe after this one, So Scandal was released in 2020. And followed by Scandal gold which i think was only released in like the middle east for some reason and then scandal lip parfum that's all the ones to my knowledge they could have more that are out but i don't know so yeah i love the scandal perfume line though these are like some of my favorite perfumes and i at some point would like to buy the other ones as well So, those are the perfumes um, that I'm going to be sharing. Those are the perfumes for this video. I'll definitely try to film a part three. I'll try to get through all of them before I go off to school. I still have quite a bit. So, this video and then my last perfume video, part one and part two, covered all the perfumes that are on one of my perfume trays so that's 14 perfumes and then i have two more perfume trays so i got a lot to go through but i hope i can do it so i also will say i have body mists that i collect as well um yeah so i love body mists just as much as i love perfume if anybody would like me to film a body mist collection I could also do that. Um, I have a lot of body mists though as well, so it might take a while, but okay. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great day.